गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट टूडे आई विल डिस्कस द सिंथेसिस ऑफ ट्राई मेथोप्रिम सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट दिस इज ट्राई मेथोप्रिम मीन्स इट हैज थ्री मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप नॉट लुक एट द स्ट्रक्चर दिस स्ट्रक्चर कंटेन थ्री मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप दीज आर द मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप सो यू नो एज द नेम सजेस्ट ट्राई मिथो सो मीन्स इट कंटेन्स थ्री मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप प्रिम प्रिम मीन्स इट कंटेन्स पेरिमिडीन रिंग so you know how to draw the pyrimidine ring you can draw the pyrimidine ring simply just put two nitrogen at first and third position so this is the pyrimidine ring this is the pyrimidine ring at 1 2 and 3 1 and 3 position two nitrogens are there and at second and 1 2 3 4 5 Six. So this is the numbering of pyrimidine ring. So now just look at pyrimidine nucleus has one, two, three, four. So at second and fourth position, just put two amino group. So this is second position, and this is fourth position. So at second and fourth position, put two NH two group. This is one NH two. This is second NH two. So this is the first. part of the trimethoprim now trimetho means there is a benzene which has three methoxy group so this is the benzene one methoxy two methoxy three methoxy this is ocs3 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 now and both the ring you can join by one carbon that is ch2 so this is the structure of trimethoprim so how you can name this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash so this is the second part of the structure and the second part of the structure is 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash trimethoxy 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash trimethoxy and this is benzyl when benzene ring attached with ch2 this is benzyl so 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash benzyl benzene with ch2 is benzyl and all the groups are attached at fifth position of pyrimidine so the name can be written like this is pyrimidine and this pyrimidine at fifth position at fifth position contains what contains 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash trimethoxy benzyl so at fifth position 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash trimethoxy benzyl is there pyrimidine so pyrimidine is the suffix now you can add two substituent at second and fourth position at second and fourth position there are two amino group so now 2 4 diamino so this will be the name 2 4 diamino at fifth this is 2 4 diamino pyrimidine and at the fifth position of pyridine 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash trimethoxy trimethoxy this is benzyl pyrimidine so this is the iupac name now i will discuss the synthesis of trimethoprim so now i will continue the synthesis so before moving the synthesis uh, i will give you the brief structure so you know this is the benzene ring and this is connected with ch2 and this ch2 is directly connected with one pyrimidine ring and this pyrimidine has 1 2 3 second and fourth position it has an h2 group so this is the an h2 group and at this position three position are occupied by three methoxy group so these are the methoxy group so now you can check the starting material this is the starting material you can create a starting material from the structure so this is the trimethoprim and in this trimethoprim you can take the initial starting material so we'll start with the benzaldehyde so this is benzaldehyde 
एंड बेंजल डी हाइट एट बेंजल डी हाइट थ्री फोर फाइव पोजिशन इज अकुपाइड बाई मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप तो दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग मटीरियल दिस इज बेंजल डी हाइट यू नो द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बेंजल डी हाइट बेंजीन विथ सी एच ओ इज बेंजल डी हाइट एट बेंजल डी हाइट यू कैन पुट ओ सी एस थ्री ओ सी एस थ्री एंड ओ सी एस थ्री थ्री मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप सो द नेम इज स्टार्टिंग मटीरियल इज थ्री फोर फाइव ट्राई मिथॉक्सी बेंजल डी हाइट इज द स्टार्टिंग मटीरियल नो दिस बेंजल डी हाइट रिएक्ट विद थ्री इथॉक्सी दिस इज थ्री इथॉक्सी वन टू थ्री प्रोपियो नाइट्राइल द आई यू पी सी नेम इज प्रोपियो नाइट्राइल वाई इट इज प्रोपियो बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स थ्री कार्बन वन टू थ्री थ्री कार्बन इज प्रोप एंड एल्काइल नाइट्राइल सी एन इज एल्काइल नाइट्राइल सो द नेम इज एट थ्री पोजिशन देर इज अ इथॉक्सी ग्रुप सो थ्री इथॉक्सी प्रोपियो नाइट्राइल इज द नेम नाउ वट हैपन्स दिस इज द एक्टिव मेथलिन ग्रुप एंड दिस विल रिएक्ट विद बेंजल डी हाइट एंड there will be a removal of water takes place and now after removing the water you can check this same as it is now ch here is a ch double bond double bond then c ch this is ch double bond c and at c cn is there and ch2 oc2 h5 is there so this is the first step now at second step what will happen we will add hydrogen now look at the structure in a structure there is a ch2 group is there so we have to keep this ch2 group so for keeping this ch2 group what will we what you will do just you will add hydrogen and the catalyst is hydrogen and palladium so now this hydrogen will added here and this hydrogen will added here so you will get ch2 when hydrogen will add at this carbon you will get ch2 and when hydrogen is added at this carbon you will get ch so ch2 ch then cn then ch2 oc2 h5 so this will be the second step so the first step when you react 3 4 5 tri methoxy benzaldehyde with 3 ethoxy propio nitrile first step is the removal of water from active methylyl group and this will give this ch double bond c double bond c then cn then ch2 oc2 h5 and the next step is you do the reduction that is addition of hydrogen so after adding hydrogen you will get ch2 then ch and remaining groups will be the same so we'll starting after the after this we will give the cyclization step how the cyclization occurs so now i am continuing from this structure so just look at this this structure will further react with this guanidine moiety this is guanidine guanidine moiety so what is guanidine just you know the structure of urea nh2 co nh2 this is urea and just put nh at the position of o put nh at the position of o you will get guanidine so how this molecule react with guanidine just look at this guanidine react with this oc2h5 so this oc2h5 and the h of this nh2 nh2 h of nh2 and oc2h5 so here is the removal of C2H5 OH takes place. Now look at the structure. So this is trimethoxy, trimethoxy as it is. Then CH2, then CH2, then CH, then CH. After CH, CN is there. After CH, CN is there. Then CH2 is there. Then CH2 is there. Now after CH2, this NH, this becomes NH because of the removal of C2H5 OH. So after CH2, you will put NH. after nh you will put c double bond nh and then you will put nh2 so just after ch2 look at this is nh this is nh then c then c then double bond nh c double bond nh then nh2 then nh2 so this is how this will react now what happens this is c triple bond and this will there will be a Uh, fission of bond 
so this will give you c double bond and nitrogen is more electronegative so at nitrogen negative is there and at carbon positive is there and here nh nh n is more negative so n is more electronegative so n will get negative charge and h will get positive charge now c and n c has positive charge n has negative charge so this will create a bond and there is a cyclization occurs and this h plus will move towards n minus h plus will move towards n minus so this will become nh now look at the structure ch then ch2 ch2 then nh after nh c plus and n minus will create a bond this is c and n c plus n minus c and n this will give a bond c and n positive and negative will attach this will create a bond and this h will move to n minus so this will become nh so now there is a cyclization step ch then c double bond nh then c nh2 and double bond n minus and c plus attached now what will happen there is a bond reorganization takes place in bond reorganization there will be a removal of these two hydrogen so minus h2 when these two hydrogen will remove you will get a double bond here and in this step so this is the first double bond just look at this this double bond after removal of hydrogen this double bond comes here and in this step there is a tautomerization takes place now what will happen this is h h so this bond will come here this become double bond and the hydrogen will move at this position so this bond comes at this so this will become double bond this bond will come at this this will become double bond and this carbon the hydrogen of this carbon will move to this nitrogen so this will become nh2 so this will become nh2 and this double bond becomes this is called bond reorganization so after the bond reorganization you will get the drug trimethoprim so if you have any doubt you can ask thank you